Welcome, graduates of the class of 2022. And welcome, friends and families of this year's graduates. I am Dr. Linda Fadrizi Williams. I am the president of Central Penn College, and I am so excited to be celebrating here in person again for the first time in two years. I also want to take this moment and recognize that for the first time, we are also celebrating our diploma and our certificate students and the recipients of this ceremony, and we're proud to recognize their accomplishments. Don't sit just yet. We're gonna begin our ceremony with the playing of our national anthem, so please rise. Sorry, faculty and staff. Test. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, you may be seated. Graduates, I am joined today by a lot of people who share my pride on, with you. Members of our board of directors, we have our faculty and staff, we're all here to celebrate your accomplishments and today we're surrounded by people who love you, your family, your friends, people in your life who might have encouraged you when you felt like giving up, who told you to keep going and work towards that finish line. And I hope that at some point today you take some time to thank them for their assistance in helping you in your journey. The world's a difficult place right now. There's a lot of obstacles, complex situations that people are trying to navigate, but you know what? We're not thinking about any of it today. The only thing that we're thinking about is this remarkable group of students in front of me and what they have done to get to this place. There's no question about the hard work and discipline that you have had to put in over the course of your studies here at Central Penn College. There's no question about the pride felt by your faculty and your staff and your families who watched you work tirelessly to earn your degree. And for some of you, also to balance your family lives and your work lives. And on top of that, and the normal challenges in higher education, you all completed your studies in a global pandemic. You should cheer for that. It is remarkable. And while I am gratified at how well you have all handled yourself over the past couple of years, I cannot say that I am surprised because you are Central Penn Knights and Knights are resilient. We know how to adapt. We know how to take challenges on head first. We know how to accept those challenges, push through them and get done what needs to get done and you did that. You embody the best of Central Penn College. For more than 140 years, we have been a small career focused institution and as most of you know, Pennsylvania has a lot of colleges and universities, over 300, as a matter of fact. And yet we've been able to survive and thrive for nearly a century and a half, and that's a testament to vision, hard work, and determination, and those are the same qualities that all of you exhibit. Graduates, this is your moment. 
Don't be a bystander in your own life waiting for things to come to you. You go out there and you find those opportunities. I know what it takes to inspire the world, and that is you, and I'm so very proud of you. So are you ready to get started? All right. We're going to begin by inviting our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Krista Wolf, to address the class of 2022 and introduce this year's recipient of the Honorary Doctorate. Thank you, Dr. Fedrizi. Good evening and welcome on behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs. We are extremely excited to see all of you in person here tonight to celebrate the accomplishments of these inspiring individuals that sit here before me. Life is like a choose your own adventure book with each choice taking you down a different path. All of you that sit here before me chose Central Penn as your academic guide to help you to write this chapter of your life. Now, today, some of you may be closing that chapter and preparing to write another as you embark upon a career. Others may be preparing to continue on with their educational journey. Whatever the case may be, relic in this moment. Reflect on your accomplishment and know that your family, your friends, your siblings, your loved one, and everyone here at Central Penn is proud of you. We are proud of all of your accomplishments. We all know that college is not easy and we are thankful that we could be a part of your chapter of this part of your life. Now at this time, the college will bestow the time-honored tradition of conferring the Doctor of Humane Letters. Now this degree is not something that can be earned through scholarly study. It is bestowed upon those who have made significant contributions to society throughout their lives. Today, the college would like to recognize a successful Central Penn College alum who is a leader in her field and who has demonstrated a history of working within the hospital and healthcare industry. Susan Comp's nursing career started upon graduating from Central Pennsylvania Business School in 1982 with a diploma in surgical technology. She went on to earn associate's degree in nursing at Harrisburg Area Community College and then a bachelor's in science in nursing from York College. However, this determined individual did not stop there. She continued her education to earn two master's degree, one in healthcare administration and the other in business administration from the University of St. Francis. Susan has been a nursing leadership for over 20 years she currently serves as the chief nurse executive for seven UPMC hospitals in central Pennsylvania and is also the chief nursing officer of UPMC Harrisburg. Her role across the UPMC Pinnacle system is to oversee nursing practice, education, and research. She is focused on developing the next generation of nurse leaders and supporting nurses who aim to transition from clinical practice to nursing leadership. In recognition of her many outstanding accomplishments for the nursing profession, Susan received the Visionary Luminary Award from the West Shore Chamber of Commerce, where she was recognized for her outstanding character, commitment, and professional achievement, as well as stellar performance. Susan is a member of Delta Mu Delta Honor Society, the Association of Nurse Executives, and the Association of Operating Room Nurses. She served on the hospital board for the Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute and currently serves on three different UPMC foundation boards. Susan and her husband Craig are parents of two adult children, Andrea and Matthew, and in her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her grandchildren. And she's anxiously awaiting the arrival of a new granddaughter in June. This year, I am honored to present the Doctor of Humane Letters to Susan Comp. Susan, will you please come forward?
it is now my pleasure to invite Susan Comp to address the graduating class of 2022 with this year's commencement address. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to speak here today. I am truly humbled to be on this stage to celebrate one of the most important milestones of your lives. And I very much appreciate the honorary doctoral <coughs> degree conferred upon me today. So thank you so much. Graduates, today your personal journey to find purpose and success begins. Congratulations. Will your journey be easy? Maybe, but most likely it will not. Whether you find purpose and success will depend on you and how you navigate that road. You will experience crossroads that will make you stronger and lead you to a greater purpose. Your ability to overcome obstacles and challenges can lead you down the road to success, but that road is almost never a straight line. It is often the roughest road that you take that will lead you to the height of greatness. It has been 40 years since I walked across the stage as a graduate at, New, uh, at Central Penn College. That same year, I got married, I had a baby, and started a career as a surgical technologist. At 19 years of age, 1982 was a very busy year for me. My educational journey continued for another 20 years. And along the way, my husband and I raised two beautiful and successful children. It was the start of a difficult road ahead for me. I was just out of college, married, started a family, and working full time. But with all the challenges, I was able to focus on the road ahead. I have never forgotten where I started or those who helped me along the way, especially the faculty at Central Penn. I was the first in my family to attend college and I had to figure it all out on my own. It was not easy for me, and I almost gave up before I started. I actually began to question whether college was really in my future. But I did get help from the college staff to get me through the application and the financial aid process, and I knew that Central Penn was where I was meant to begin my college journey. I will always be grateful to the doors of opportunity that opened up because of this college. It was the professors at Central Penn who provided not just an education, but the confidence, the discipline, and the courage that I would need to be successful. How I would navigate the twists and turns of my journey and whether I would find success, that would be up to me. But I left here with the tools, skills, and knowledge and encouragement to find that success. The term success, that's for each of you to define. It means different things to different people. You must like what you do and be satisfied for where you are in life, no matter what you choose to do. For me, it simply meant accomplishing my personal goals and finding my purpose. Have a goal and a plan, but most of all, do not be deterred by setbacks. I have had to deal with failures, adversity, setbacks, and distractions. We all have, and you will too. If you get off track, find a way to persevere and get back on track. I have been guided by the words of Maya Angelou, who said, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. And that is so true. We should strive for success and amazing, we should never be stopped by roadblocks on the road to success and settle for normal. Have the confidence and determination to get through or around whatever is in your way. Then you will know how amazing you can be. My best advice to you is to never let anyone tell you that you cannot achieve your goal. I remember a time in high school when I had a dream of becoming a pediatrician. At that same time, I was dealing with educators telling me that I was not smart enough to be a doctor. I was laughed at for having that as a career goal. That kind of negativity can get to you, being told you cannot do something. I lacked the confidence in myself at that point in my life, and I chose a different path in the medical field. 
but I was motivated to prove them wrong, and I did. Don't let that kind of negati ever, negativity ever get to you. One of my few regrets is that I didn't pursue my career as a doctor, but I have found success in the medical field and have no regrets about the road I followed. <clears throat> I will also tell you that never let circumstances in your life be an excuse to give up on your goals. When I was not quite 12 years old, I suddenly and unexpectedly lost my mother. I had no idea what the future was gonna hold for me, and I had no idea how I would get through that loss. But I held on to everything she taught me as a young girl, to be independent, to be strong, and to have faith in God. She was amazing and continues to inspire me. So surround yourself with people who inspire you like that, and you will be able to overcome adversity on your journey. When I graduated from Central Penn, I knew I had the confidence, education, and the skills that I needed to be successful. I knew I wanted to be an agent for change, and I wanted to be in a leadership role in the medical field. Through continuing my education, my career path has changed several times, from surgical technologist to registered nurse to hospital administrator. But my goal remained the same. Those detours on my road to success defined who I would become. They led me to nursing leadership, and I would not change where I am today. I love serving people, my community, and advocating for my nursing team. They inspire and amaze me every day. They make me proud to be their leader, and I know now, after traveling a long, sometimes difficult road, that is truly my purpose. My nurses have worked through a pandemic over the last two years, caring for others at the risk of themselves and their families. They have dealt with death and fear on a scale that most of us will never deal with. They demonstrated a level of dedication, courage, perseverance, and that is nothing short of amazing. My Angelo would say, nothing they do is normal, and that is the kind of amazing that we should all aspire to be. I hope you do, I know you will. It has been an honor to share this stage with you and to have the honorary doctorate degree conferred upon me. I will cherish it and continue to promote lifelong learning, service to our community and benevolence. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of your amazing day. I wish you amazing success and thank you so much. Susan, thank you for those inspiring words. What an amazing individual you are to our community, to our students, and to our college. We thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Jared Reif, our Dean of Humanities, who will now recognize the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2022. Good evening, honored graduates, family, and friends, my colleagues behind me, and special guests. It is my pleasure and afforded opportunity this evening to present the graduates of 2022, two of your very own, for a very special recognition. It is my honor to present the graduating class of 2022 salutatorian, which is the second highest GPA, and the valedictorian, which is the highest GPA of this year's graduating class. First, and I'll ask her to stand so she knows you know who she is, I'd like to recognize Darla Tanner from Harrisburg. She is earning a Bachelor's of Science degree in business with a management concentration. Next, and it is with great pleasure, that I introduce to you the 2022 valedictorian, Leslie Hemlaw. Leslie came to Central Penn in 2018 to earn her Bachelor of Science degree in Corporate Communications. Her original desire was to improve her writing, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills to enhance her contributions to the Perry County Literacy Council, 
where she's worked for the past 13 years. Since arriving at Central Penn, she has been a model student, constantly achieving at the highest levels in the classroom. Her tireless study, in addition to her full-time position with the Literary Council, Literacy Council, shows the complexity of being a non-traditional student pursuing her education along with being a mother to a family. In addition to her efforts in the classroom, Leslie was also the president of the Nightly News Media Club, our campus student news organization. As part of that role, Leslie covered the CPC film series for three years, highlighting the hardworking faculty who take time out of their busy schedules to share their love of film with our students and community. Because of that love of film, Leslie co-hosted the Nights at the Movies, which was an award-winning podcast that allowed her to analyze what film means to her as a significant part of her life and who she is as a person. Leslie was the first member of the college campus ever to win a statewide award in journalism, winning a total of three Keystone Media Awards. In addition to being this year's valedictorian, Leslie also earned Dean's List honors every term. She was an eight-time recipient of the Dorothy B. And Dor uh, uh, Donald B. and Dorothy L. Stabler Scholarship from the Central Penn Education Foundation, and she also served as the Gamma Beta Phi National Society Vice President. Please join me in congratulating the 2022 valedictorian, Leslie Hambaugh. When we focus on our gratitude, the tide of disappointment goes out and the tide of love rushes in. That's a quote from writer and three-time Olympic gold medal cyclist, Kristen Armstrong, for whom gratitude is a critical factor in her success. Armstrong was a competitive runner and Ironman competitor. However, a devastating diagnosis of osteoarthritis forced her to quit running at 27. So she turned to cycling as a form of therapy. A sense of gratitude propelled Armstrong to qualify for her first Olympics as a cyclist in 2004. And by her second in 2008, she won her first gold medal. A year before the next Olympics, Armstrong had a child and still captured her second gold medal in 2012. She decided to retire, but as the 2016 games approached, Armstrong realized that she was still capable of competing at an Olympic level. The day before her 43rd birthday, she turned in her third gold medal performance. Armstrong says that being grateful is a choice and filling her life with it doesn't leave room for any negativity. From the moment she opens her eyes each morning to her last bit of consciousness before exhaustedly slipping into sleep each night, she makes a critical choice to be thankful. I admire Armstrong and others like her because I aspire to live my life this way. Even when faced with difficulty, I try to remember what Perry County Literacy Council's executive director and my mentor, Kathleen Bentley, says. Each time you encounter adversity in your life, you should put it in a box, wrap it up in the most beautiful paper you can find, and tie it off with a glittering bow, then give it to yourself as a gift. Am I successful at doing this every time I'm disappointed? Of course not. But when I do remember, it helps me realize that my mistakes and the things that I've done wrong or the things that have happened to me and how I react to them has made me who I am. And I'm proud of this person. I want to talk to you tonight about some of the people I'm grateful for, give you a few ideas of what gratitude can do for you, and leave you with a challenge to put good out into the world with absolutely no expectation of reciprocation. I am thrilled to be, the, to be named the 22, 2022 class valedictorian, and I still can't believe that I've earned this honor. When Dr. Reif called me to give me the news, I said, you are kidding. And he said, I never kid about these things. Secretly, 
I would love to share this accomplishment with a few of my high school teachers who were not always the most gracious about my inability to grasp their subject matter. Who's smiling now, guys? I bet you never saw this coming. <laughs> Returning to college later in life was one of the most difficult challenges I have ever faced. At the same time, I have never felt more inspired and alive. In many ways, I feel as if I have just been awakened from a long nap by an explosion of knowledge and personal growth. Everything has a deeper meaning right now, and each day brings the promise of acquiring new skills and more information that will help mold me into the person I aspire to be. The kindness, inspiration, and generosity that I have experienced from my husband, Tim, my children, Kelsey, Michael, Jake, and Maggie, my parents, Mike and Kathy Brennan, the faculty and staff at Central Penn, and the board and team at Perry County Literacy Council are absolutely overwhelming. I find myself bursting with gratitude for this opportunity. I'd like to ask my husband, Tim, to stand. I wouldn't be standing in this spot today. Yes. I wouldn't be standing in this spot today without the steadfast support of my husband, Tim. Throughout our nearly 40 years together, he remains the rock I cling to, the shoulder I cry on, and my partner in celebration. Tim rarely says no to my crazy ideas, and even though I have forced him into the role of a public servant, he has borne it with quiet elegance. He's the perfect partner. Together, we've raised four incredible children, each a wild success in their own right and ardent supporters in their own unique ways. I love them all like crazy. A special shout out goes to my son, Michael, an incredible writer and edit editor who proofread every single paper I wrote in my three and a half years at Central Penn. I learned so much from him. His high standards inspired me to be a better writer every day. I must also thank my brother-in-law, Rodney Bauer, for his excellent listening skills and sage advice and my friend and, tu and tutor at the Literacy Council, Dee Gregory, for getting me through algebra. <laughs> I haven't ha hadn't had algebra for more than 40 years. When I started my er journey to earn a bachelor's degree, people would ask me which college I was attending. Oh, I'm just going to Central Penn College, I would say. I quickly learned that this school is so much more than just Central Penn College. I feel like I received a world-class education with the personal attention that most colleges could never provide. To say that I'm filled with gratitude for the many people at Central Penn who have positively changed my life is a gross understatement. Professors Paul Miller, Thomas Davis, Angela Britcher, and Michael Lear Olympi, to name a few, challenged me every day to be a more th creative, thoughtful, accountable, and passionate student. Professor Miller, undoubtedly one of the hardest working people I've ever met, the most accountable and um, the most, and he's definitely the most accountable. He constantly inspired me to work harder and made me want to do more. His approach to teaching is student-centered. He practically wills his students to be successful. When Miller says he'll be there or do something, it's done. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I have to find my spot here. Professor Davis encouraged me to engage in deep thinking, seek out high quality research materials, find meaning and purpose in what I read, and discover ways to express myself more effectively. Professor Britcher modeled pure diplomacy and elegance when presenting even the most controversial topics. I aspire to exhibit such grace and genuine thoughtfulness. I learned journalistic integrity from Professor Lear Olympi. Dean Adrian Thoman personifies the tireless energy and enthusiasm students need to keep moving forward. 
and Dean Steve Hassinger exudes positivity and support. Finally, I have to thank the, the Counseling Center's Tom Palmieri and John Ashman. I don't think two more compassionate and thoughtful humans exist. I'd be in a pile somewhere licking my wounds without their help. Everything I thought I knew about people changed almost 13 years ago when I started working at Perry County Literacy Council. That's when I knew what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Eventually, I realized that I would need a bachelor's degree to do it properly. Cultural anthropologist and writer Margaret Mead once said, never doubt that a, th a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. These wise words sum up my feelings precisely for the work we do at PCLC, where we help those that the world tries to leave behind to overcome barriers and move toward lives of self-sufficiency. Our executive director, Kathleen Bentley, provides the blueprint for this vital work with a human-centered approach. Her vast experience working with adjudicated youth informs our policies and procedures, but not how one would expect. Good things happen when kindness, compassion, and simple human decency combine with wisely used financial resources in a judgment-free zone. The, this process allows lives to improve for Perry County adults and their families, and in turn, the life of our community improves as well. Bentley is my mentor and dear friend, and the day she decided to give me a chance was the luckiest day of my life. Talk about grateful. I owe this brilliant woman everything for putting me on this path. You can see how gratitude ha has made just about every good thing in my life possible. Another thing that served me well is my tremendous tolerance for risk. Just ask my husband. Growing up around people who feared, who allowed fear to rule their lives made me determined to push myself outside my comfort zone. Then when I think I can't stand any more, I try to give myself a violent shove even further. This approach might not be appropriate for everyone, but for me, the risks paid off and led to opportunities that I might never have experienced if I had remained where it was safe and free of challenges. I want to leave you tonight with a quote from American playwright, screenwriter, and film director Aaron Sorkin. Around the time of his 2012 graduation speech to Syracuse University, the world was a polarizing place, though nothing compared to the outrageous political partisan partisanship we faced for the last several years. During these divisive times, families and friendships have fractured, including some of my own. I urge you to hear his words and please take them to heart. Sorkin said, decisions are made by those who show up. Don't ever forget that you're a citizen of this world and there are things you can do to lift the human spirit. Things that are easy, things that are free, things that you can do every day. Civility, respect, kindness, character. You're too good for shade and fraud. I hope I pronounced that right. Which is pleasure derived from some, by someone from another's misfortune. You're too good for gossip and snark. You're too good for intolerance. And you're too good to think that people you, who you disagree with are your enemy. Congratulations, class of 2022. I also am so proud of, of you. And I think I have a pretty good idea of what some of you have been through to get where you are today. My challenge to you as graduates of Central Penn College, to look back with gratitude to look forward with optimism and choose gratitude. And most importantly, look around and find ways to help without looking to be repaid and be grateful you could. Thank you so much. At each commencement ceremony, the college recognizes five different students with special recognitions. The five award recognitions are student service, student leadership, athletics and activities, the Legacy Award for Perseverance, and the Military Service Award. 
For the first award, award pardon me, I would like to ask Dr. Ann Bisop, the Dean of Health Sciences, to come to the podium. Good evening, congratulations. The Student Service Award is presented to an individual who has shown extraordinary commitment to both the campus community as well as the community at large. This award is presented to a graduate that has shown commitment to volunteerism and service. The nomination for this award reads, this student has been an incredibly giving and compassionate member of our Central Penn College family. She was our first student presenter as part of our CPC film series and did an incredible job. She was an officer of Gamma Beta Phi and contributed greatly to the various events and supply drives organized by the club. She also jumped in to help and helped with whatever she could with the nightly news media club. Her desire to make a difference also extends beyond CPC. She has dedicated her career to support the work of the Perry County Literacy Council, where adults in Perry County can participate <laughs> in educational programs free of charge and learn the skills necessary to be self-sufficient. She is making a difference in the lives of others every single day. The winner of the Student Service Award is Leslie Heinbaum. <laughs> The Student Leadership Award is presented to an individual who demonstrates the commitment, enthusiasm, and spirit of service exemplified in the modern leader. This year's recipient is an example of true servant leadership. Her nomination reads, this student is a servant leader through and through. During her time at Central Penn, she served our student as our Student Government Association President and was strongly committed to being a voice for the student body. She collaborated with a number of other clubs on campus to revise and revamp Club Wars, which came back stronger than ever. She led the winning team in the 2021 Raise the Roof campaign, volunteered regularly at supply drives, and worked with Caring Heart Pet Therapy to bring this valuable group to our campus. Beyond the headlines of being the youngest graduate in the history of the college, she is hardworking and an incredible student leader. She pushed herself to her comfort limit and beyond to try new things and stretch herself and has been a supportive friend to so many Central Penn Knights. She has definitely made her mark on Central Penn. Central Penn is, College is proud to award this year's Student Leadership Award to Michelle Donahue. Athletic, Athletics and Activity Award is presented to an individual that balances high academic achievement combined with participation in activities, clubs, or athletics. This award is given to a student who has been a regular participant in campus activities while maintaining a high GPA and has made significant contributions to student life at Central Penn. The nomination reads, this student has been an extraordinary part of the CPC community. She has found her passion, tried new things, and stretched herself the way every college student should. Whether she was running the night way or getting involved in BSU, she's been everywhere on campus, no matter where you look. She has been actively involved in so much during her time here at Central Penn. She was integral in the production of our night way video series, facilitated an incredible CPC film festival, worked as a resident assistant, supported our residential community, was nominated and selected by her peers as our 2021 homecoming queen, and more. She balanced all of this while 
while excelling in the classroom. She truly lived the night life. The recipient of the Athletics and Activities Award is Janelle Dulac. Legacy Award for Perseverance is presented to an individual who is graduating from Central Penn and is making outstanding contributions to his or her profession. This student exemplifies what is possible through hard work, determination, and perseverance. The nomination reads, the journey from move-in day to, commence to the commencement stage is never smooth. This student has faced many challenges along the way yet she continues to be exceptional in all that she does. She is a talented basketball player and team captain. She is a successful student. She is involved in the Athletics Advisory Committee and Student Athletics Council, a member of our Black Student Union, a valued student worker, and regularly volunteers her time to support our campus community. She is strong and resilient and has faced many obstacles during her time as a student. She keeps going thanks to her incredible incredible perseverance. This year's recipient of the Legacy Award for Perseverance is Tania Jackson. Now I'd like to introduce Dean Ben Lipschutz to the stage to award the Military Award. Thank you, Dean Bizzup. Now, this year's winner of the Military Service Award is Jack Huang. I'll give him the time to walk his way up. <laughs> His nomination read, during his time at CPC, Jack worked a full-time job, took care of his children, and dealt with multiple personal challenges, having him traveling across coasts that would have derailed most students. Despite all of this, Jack was always friendly, upbeat, personable. Jack was a fantastic student and will be graduating magna cum laude. Jack was a shining example of perseverance, dedication, and perfect military bearing. Congratulations. I also have the honor to announce this year's Faculty Excellence Award winner. The Ta'ade Milano Faculty Excellence Award recognizes full-time faculty members who are dedicated to teaching and providing an educational experience that positions students for success in their chosen field of study. Faculty who receive this award help students turn the potential into success. This person's nomination reads, they are passionate and she cares so much about each student she went out of her way to help me and is such an amazing person, mentor, and an inspiration. If all teachers cared the way she does, the world would be a better place. Another, she takes the time and patience to understand her students. And throughout my time in her marketing class in the summer 21 term, she would be there before and after class answering any questions I may have had or clearing up any confusion from the assignments of the week. 
And finally, she is a big motivator and professor who is always there for her students, helping them succeed throughout their time here at Central Penn College, but also once they graduate. I am proud to announce Dr. Cassandra Hillegas as this year's Todd A. Milano Faculty Excellence Award winner. Again, congratulations, Dr. Hellegas. Now, as the Dean of the School of Business Professional Studies, I have the privilege of introducing the first group of graduates tonight. The Master of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership is a graduate degree program designed to develop leaders, their leadership skills through an interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary approach to learning. As students matriculate through this program, they're expected and exposed to current leadership thought and theory while gaining the skills necessary to succeed in leadership positions. Upon completion of their coursework, students engage in a term-long applied capstone project where they identify, research, and propose a solution to real-world leadership issues. At this time, I would like to invite the graduate students up to the stage to receive their hoods and degrees. Mary Beth Fisher, Master of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Kathleen Stoddart, Master of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. Annie Roberson, Master of Professional Studies in Organizational Leadership. and approach the stage. Will the Bachelor of Science students please rise and approach the stage. Celia Sahini. <laughs> Leslie Heimbaugh. <laughs> Colby Jelks. <laughs> Darla Tanner. Samir Ibrisevic. <laughs> Elkazia Achiampong. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Laquita Braswell. Noah Martin, summa cum laude. Oh. 
Brian Davis, magna cum laude. Sarah Topper, cum laude. Olivia Gregory, magna cum laude. Sunny Elmore, summa cum laude. Gretchen Switzler. Kevin Rigby, cum laude. Tyler Jones. Kaylee Burrow. Shamira Denson. Danielle Coy, cum laude. Lachey Coles. Andrea Roser. Nia Millwood. Janelle Dulac, magna cum laude. Candice Kendig, summa cum laude. Teresa Velez. Karen Lopez Torres. Amber Wolf, summa cum laude. Rachel Schott, cum laude. Noah Meter. Taylor Lejack. Tiaja Gray. Alicia Speller. Jessica Phillips. Simone Brooks. Pushpa Chimaria. Noah Zorbach. Aniqua Twyman. Kirsten Wigand. Crystal Rinker. Summa cum laude. Kyle Toman. Alexis Pennington. Jalen Pagaro. Joseph Dykes. Tierra Brown. Jordan Smith, summa cum laude. Andrea Padilla. Pamela Lastimosa Schwartz.
Marina Keller. <laughs> William K. Snyder, magna cum laude. <laughs> Carrie Bordash, summa cum laude. Shelby Newmeyer. <laughs> Tiana Gold. <laughs> Frank Simoncelli III. <laughs> Michael Harmon, magna cum laude. Tashana Story. <laughs> Michelle Donahue, summa cum laude. Todd Berry. Jennifer Paul. Mia Clements. Shania Truesdale, magna cum laude. Jordan Nye. Marissa Joint, magna cum laude. Heather Doss. Summa cum laude. Liana Verbos. Jack Wong, magna cum laude. Holly Motes, summa cum laude. Cherise Smith. <laughs> Jennifer Downey, summa cum laude. <laughs> Amanda Strasbaugh. <laughs> Angelica Irizari, cum laude. Jayla Mercado. <laughs> Jessica Jacks, summa cum laude. <laughs> Sissy Daughtry, summa cum laude. <laughs> Sheree Thornton. Tania Jackson. Shane Howell, cum laude. Melissa Malesio. Chris Monasmith, summa cum laude. Roxanne Decker, cum laude. Jordan Heil, magna cum laude. Kayla Murren, summa cum laude. Baba Tamiwa Osibadu, summa cum laude. Anthony Patalunas. At this time, I would like to ask Malika Womack to come up to the stage.
Malika is the mother of Jada Hellams, who sadly passed away last year. Jada will forever be recognized as a member of our Central Penn family. Today, we would like to present Malika Womack with a posthumous degree from Central Penn College in Jada's name. Now will all of the associate degree students please rise and approach the stage. Michaela Waters, magna cum laude. Kira Santos. Sarai Ramos Sime. Terrence Lee. Carrie Benner. Valerie Coleman Franz. Kara Story. Jerai Patterson. Trisnea Johnson. Jessica Schuler, summa cum laude. Casey Wright. Catherine Rivera, summa cum laude. Margaret Nyland, magna cum laude. Abigail Ayala. Rachel Layton. Susanna Saylor, magna cum laude. Alexa Twig, magna cum laude. Danielle Malcolm, cum laude. Brianna Soltis, cum laude. Olivia Monday, summa cum laude. Harley Church, summa cum laude. Amy Alcatron. Dana Gossage. Isabel Cruz. Xavier Hernandez. Jeffrey Elliker, magna cum laude. Katie Krug, summa cum laude. Sarah Hauk. Leanna Miranda. Veronica Rodriguez. Elizabeth Albright, cum laude. 
Akisha Rodriguez. <laughs> Melinda Luciano. <laughs> Sierra Queeley. <laughs> Callie Myers. <laughs> Monique James. Deborah Bachman, summa cum laude. Allison Hoon, cum laude. Kira Shank. Margaret Dubbs. Rochelle Straub, summa cum laude. Alexa Feist. Kaylee Smedley. Emily Morgan. John Hauer, cum laude. Susan Harper, cum laude. Chloe Cole, cum laude. Madison Lamarca, magna cum laude. Madison Bear. Keegan Woolley. Bashal Garung, summa cum laude. Rebecca Harbaugh. Will the certificate and diploma students please rise and approach the stage. Gracie Hess. Woo! Yvette Colon. Courtney Darden. Woo! Barsha Chantial. Woo! Cynthia Perales. Ashley Seitz. Woo! Christina Jones. Woo! Keisha Levy. Woo! Louis Riviera. Woo! Tashi Johns. Chastity Shackleford. Woo! Renee Peterson. Woo! Mahmoud Ablan. by the power vested in me by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Central Penn College Board of Directors, I hereby confer the Masters of Professional Studies, Bachelor of Science, Associate in Applied Science, and the Associate in Science degrees upon you with all the rights, honor, and privileges which pertain to that degree, and recognize the hard work 
and dedication of our certificate and diploma students. We are so proud of all of you. Undergraduate students, using your left hand, you may change the position of your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, 2022 graduates of Central Penn College. We are so excited for you. At this time, I would like to invite our current SGA president, Erin Christiana, to come address the class. Good evening. My name is Erin Christiana. I'm the student government president, and I would like to begin by telling everyone how thankful I am for this opportunity. Next, I want to congratulate the group of students seated in front of me for the hard work and accomplishment that we are celebrating today. A college is a place of growth, individuality, struggles, and discovery. However, more adversity was placed upon this class of graduates as they faced adversity in and outside of the classroom due to the pandemic. Proving determination and resilience under the circumstances that they faced throughout their career at Central Penn, from having to quarantine to taking classes online, we have been through struggles that no other generation can relate to. Throughout this wild journey, there is so much to acknowledge. We have faced some of the biggest curveballs that could be added to a college workload. What can be taken away from this experience is that you should always expect the unexpected and always be on your toes. I would like to commend all of you sitting here today for proving your optimism and dedication will pay off. Applying these skills to your future is a major factor in consistency and success. Remember that there are times that you are going to feel overwhelmed and drained in life, but times like these can delay, and de delay your development and progression as a person. Do not allow this to place you at a halt. Take a moment, take a breath, and remember that it gets better. It's easy to get discouraged. Take that moment to remember today that you may lose sight of your main goals, but you are going to persevere. You're going to remember who you are, everything that you faced to get here today, and use that as your motivation in your future. On behalf of the student government and the Central Penn family, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all and to congratulate you all for your hard work at Central Penn. Thank you, Aaron. And now please join me in welcoming Lucy Huntsberger with the Central Penn Alumni Association. Hello and congratulations class of 2022. My name is Lucy Huntsberger. I'm the vice president of the Alumni Council. I'm a two-time graduate of Central Penn College. I'm also an adjunct instructor in the School of Health Sciences. So yes, some of you out there have had me. So <laughs> welcome to our alumni association. Your alumni council works directly with the college administration to advise on ways to keep alumni engaged. We work with our alma mater to support and connect alumni throughout their careers. We also work monthly to honor the incredible work Central Penn Knights are doing in their communities. I want to welcome you as a general member of the Central Penn College Alumni Association. This lifelong membership represents your hard work and dedication and offers you numerous opportunities to stay connected with your Central Penn College family. You will have opportunities to continue learning via webinars, class audits, and use of the library. And the Center for Career Service is just one call or email message away to assist you with updating your resume and keeping your job pursuit skills fresh and effective. And what is an alumni association without opportunities to have fun? CPC alumni events gather old friends and help you to make new ones. 
I strongly encourage you to attend at least one not alumni event a year to stay connected with fellow Knights. Now, here is my challenge to the class of 2022. I want to ask you as gradu graduates of Central Penn College to stay connected with your alumni association. Watch for opportunities to stay involved on our social media channels, our website, email updates, and Pendulum, which is an alumni magazine coming to your mailbox three times a year. An active alumni association starts with engaged alumni. As you walked off the stage, you were handed an alumni pen and scroll with information on your benefits and ways to contact us as you begin your post-education journey. Wear your pen with pride. We like to say in this community, it's three degrees of central pen, meaning when you're in a room with two or more people, you'll likely find someone has a direct connection to our amazing college and three people or less. Congratulations, graduates. I hope you'll enjoy me in saying I'm a proud Central Penn Knight. Okay, what a night. So we are nearing the end of our ceremony and I want to once again thank all of you for coming out here to celebrate these incredible graduates in front of us. So what's going to happen now, we're going to play the Central Penn alma mater. The faculty and staff will exit the stage. The graduates will follow us out. So family and friends in the theater and in the ballroom, we just ask that you wait until all of your students have exited before you come out and take your pictures and hug and kiss them and celebrate together. So as we listen to our alma mater, let's take a moment to reflect on the tremendous accomplishments of these graduates as we sing along. And graduates, congratulations. Now go out there and do great things. Oh! 